Yeah, I would say Johnny Depp looks pretty pale in this one. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm T-Man Dan and today I'm super excited because it is the start of Octoberfest, the month-long scary movie extravaganza. To kick off Octoberfest, I posted a poll over on Patreon and the winner was... <laughs> Nobody! Because <laughs> I don't have any patrons, who am I kidding? <laughs> So, I decided to start with Sleepy Hollow. Last time, we watched The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, which covers the Headless Horseman story. As Sleepy Hollow is also an adaptation of the story, I thought it would be a good choice to kick things off. For Octoberfest, I'll be posting a new scary movie reaction every Monday and Thursday throughout all of October. If you have any scary movie suggestions, post them in the comments below. So what do I know about this movie? Sleepy Hollow. It... <laughs> I don't know much. I know that it is directed by Tim Burton. It covers the story of the Headless Horseman. And it stars Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. Interesting. <laughs> I'm looking at the... Uh, the little poster right now. I think Helena Bonham Carter is also in it, and if past Tim Burton, Johnny Depp collaborations are any indication, there's gonna be a lot of pale skin, a lot of frizzy hair, and potentially some skewed architecture of some sort. <laughs> we'll see. As for The Headless Horseman, the only thing I really know by is what I watched in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. We'll see how close it is to the Disney adaptation. It's probably going to be quite different, honestly. That's what I'm expecting. I'm expecting it to be quite different from the Disney adaptation. So, there may be a love interest, possibly. I don't know if he's going to be a school teacher. Uh, possibly he will. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't really know anything about it going in other than speculation based on uh, previous stuff. It's supposed to be a scarier take from the Disney version, so that'll be nice. And now it's time for our special segment. Will, will T appear? appear? The segment where I guess whether or not I think T is going to make an appearance in this movie. Sleepy Hollow. Um, hmm. Based on when this story typically takes place, and uh, it's based in uh, colonial New York, basically. You know, tea, I think, was more of a popular drink, and I could definitely see some characters drinking tea around that time period in that area. Tea did appear in The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, so you know what? I'm gonna go for it and say, yes, tea is going to make an appearance in Sleepy Hollow. We'll see if I'm right. Tea of the day today in honor of Sleepy Hollow is Tuck Me In from Savrika Tea. Hmm, pretty good. In the bottom right corner, right next to my heart rate, you can keep track of the tea of the day through the tea can. But that's not all. <laughs> No scary movie would be complete without watching it in total darkness. And so I've rigged up my room with tons of infrared lighting so I can watch this thing in complete darkness. For the most part, obviously the screen is going to emit some light. Can't really do anything about that though. But I can about everything else. All right, it's super dark in here now. <laughs> Let's get this thing watched. Headphones, check. Creepy atmosphere, check. Infrared tea cam, check. Play, Paramount. A Viacom company. A Tim Burton film. Blood. Blood dripping. No, it's wax. It's gotta be wax. It looks like it was over a, an envelope seal. Yep, there's the wax. I was right, it was wax. Like sealing wax. That's a nice signet ring. I think it'd be neat to get a signet ring and wax and seal envelopes. Van Garrett. This dude seems super rich. Uh-oh. That's not ominous at all. Uh-oh. Seeing as this is the beginning, I would imagine this uh, dude's not going to survive. This is not a good position to be in for a uh, horror film. Cornfield at night. Well, there he goes. Dead. Except for his hair and nails. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> New York, not even 1800s. Constable Crane! Ichabod Crane, is that you? Constable Ichabod Crane, okay. I would say Johnny Depp looks pretty pale in this one. <laughs> that framing makes it look like he has look like he has wings. It's interesting. Dark wings. 
I didn't know he was a duck. Each one found with the head lopped off. And there you will detect the murderer. It is you, Ichabod Crane. Who can prevent forest fires. now put to the test. Oh, okay. Johnny Depp. Christina Ricci. Helena Bonham. Oh, Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit disappointed if Helena Bonham Carter isn't in this, honestly. Mm hmm. Bunch of scary looking equipment. What the heck? Watch this be a prequel to Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to get scared or not. Like, I typically default to jokey mood but who knows with the uh the scary the scary movies i typically don't watch horror films i'm not sure if this one is quite horror but we'll see maybe it is oh by the way this movie was recommended in the comments yeah based upon the story the legend of sleepy hollow by washington irving yeah the legend of sleepy hollow not headless horseman but the legend of sleepy hollow so many credits oh my gosh that's a cool scene <laughs> I didn't see Helena Bonham Carter's name. Interesting. There's Michael Gambon. Dumbledore himself. Hey, that guy. Dumbledore and what's-his-face together. Dursley. <laughs> I don't know what this commentary is so far. Is that tea? Oh my gosh. That looks like tea. <laughs> it's a teacup and a tea uh, kettle. I think that counts enough for tea. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Walken. <laughs> There's the frazzled hair that I predicted. He's got pale skin and frazzled hair. Is there going to be some wonky architecture nearby? Then the trifecta will be complete! <laughs> yeah, it's got to be tea. Hey, there's some wonky architecture. A bit. I think that qualifies, right? Right? Whoa, gnarly. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How did he get running? Wasn't he, like, in a bunker? Why would he leave the bunker? Okay, then. Would the, would the muscles of the face really freeze like that? Whatever, whatever. <laughs> it's all right. I'm here now. The last to arrive? Some detective he is. You have moved the body? I did. You must never move the body. Why not? Because. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm not sure exactly if there's actually going to be supernatural elements going on. I mean, I guess the fog put out the fire already, but is there someone masquerading as a headless horseman or is there actually a headless horseman? I'm not entirely sure yet. I could, I would guess there is a headless horseman based on the Disney, but I don't want to like base everything off of that. I want to watch it for what it is. But the fifth. The fifth. Five victims in four graves. Huh? Does he know what he's doing? What the heck? The widow Winship was with child. It's the Ichabod frogs. Ichabod wiser. <laughs> what a dumb joke for my last video. <laughs> um, this is a dream. It's got to be a dream. This early, it's got to be a dream. Especially if the frog is saying Ichabod. It's gotta be a dream. Mm-hmm. Fake. Okay. Is she like a witch or something? What? Okay. All right, then. It is my gift for you. No, mm. I have no use for it. Are you so certain of everything? It's like a book of like a witchcraft or something. Like spells and stuff. So I'm guessing his mother was a witch and he has had an experience 
that makes him not believe any of it, any of the supernatural, and so now he is against it, I guess, and a detective for figuring out the underlying information, non-spiritually. And look, see? Carved into the fire back? The archer. Was that his childhood home or something? Does he have like a connection to this place? You can do magic. Teach me. It is no magic. What? It is what we call optics. This movie does do a good job of building up its atmosphere. Uh huh. Well then. Okay. I'm guessing he's not going to kill Ichabod because he's not after Ichabod? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. That's got to be freaky. He's a direct eyewitness. He's like freaked out now. You must not excite yourself. But it was a headless horseman. Of course it was. That's why you're here. No, you must believe me. <laughs> it was a horseman, a dead one. Headless. <laughs> It's all true. Well, of course it is. I told you. <laughs> yeah, something is weird about his childhood. What is going on? Okay. She can fly? Is that a memory or a dream? I mean, it's a dream, but is it, like, a memory? Okay. It's wrong to be a witch. We're gonna lock you in the tower! Or the... the red-white room? The white-red room? The red... behind the red door? Down the white hallway? So maybe he was then raised by those who would say, Don't believe witchcraft. Maybe that's... his... aversion? Van Garrett, Widow Winship, Your father, Jonathan Masbeth, And now Phillips. Something must connect them. Did the headless horseman take the head of the the fetus? Thereman. That's not ominous, a voice coming from a cave. A creepy singing voice coming from a cave, no less. <laughs> Hiding behind the kid. <laughs> nice, Ichabod. Nice. Perhaps you could help us. You're from With the hollow. That is which mother? I make no assumptions about your occupation. No, your ways, which, 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 which are <laughs> uh, nothing to me, whatever you are. It's gotta be his mom. Do you know of the horseman, mom? Mom, is that foreshadowing? <laughs> okay. Okay. What the heck? What are you doing? Making a stew. Don't get too close. Oh my gosh! What the heck? Well, that was something! <laughs> he thinks it's not supernatural, but he's going to someone supernatural to get a clue. But I guess he saw the person, so now he thinks it might be supernatural. So I guess it makes sense. Explore all potential options? Makes sense, I suppose. Part of my intrusion. What? Were they gonna kiss? Scary tree. What are we looking at? What are they looking at? Okay. Tree of the dead. Ah, tree of the dead, okay. Oh. Dripping blood? Uh, yep. The tree bleeds. Are you going to keep chopping at it? A apparently. But why? What are you looking for? Maybe... Oh, the thing from the clue? Oh! Okay. He found the heads hidden in a tree. This tree is gateway. Gateway between two worlds. Well, gateway between two worlds? Now why is the sword up there? What? That is why the horseman returns from the grave and take heads of his own is restored to him. Okay. So he has to find the headless horseman's head? 
What the heck? Um. Um. Yeah, get off of there. Oh my gosh. What the heck? That's a gnarly effect. Yeah, I would say this is firmly in supernatural territory. It's not likely there's gonna be a, it was all a hoax <laughs> ending <laughs> at this point. Okay. Headless Horseman's coming for you. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Do all of his victims have a connection to what happened to him? I wonder. Oh my gosh. He dead. And apparently she's dead. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look good for the kid. No. I imagine a gun isn't going to do much, but hey, okay, maybe. I doubt he's down for the count. Yeah. He doesn't have a head. You think a bullet's going to do anything? Yeah, just run. I don't think the bullet... Yeah. Well, okay. Let's just chop him in half. He faints easily. I mean, maybe not easily, but a lot. He faints a lot. Nostradamus, Radiance, Milk of Mercy. Yeah, she's a witch. <laughs> his victims are chosen by someone who controls him. By that very person who took his skull. Someone who knew where to dig. Someone of flesh and blood. These are ravings. Who's the oldest person in the town? The person who's calling him crazy is who I suspect at the moment. Because he doesn't want people to discover him, perhaps? Or maybe it's that guy, who knows? Okay. Interesting. Torture room, huh? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, that's uh, how we got those. Alright. Jeez Louise! That's a ton of blood! <laughs> huh? What do you believe in? Sense and reason. So he turned away from everything. You've lost your brave man, Brom. I have shed my tears for Brom, and yet my heart is not broken. Do you think me wicked? Well, you're a witch. <laughs> There's a bit of a witch in you, Katrina. Uh-huh. Why do you say that? Because you're a freaking witch! <laughs> what? You chopped the leg off of a bird! <laughs> Why wouldn't you be a witch? Hey! There's some, uh, funky architecture. We must proceed by a process of elimination. I shall make a list of every man and woman in Sleepy Hollow, starting with its chief citizen, Baltus Van Tassel. And thus is how the census came to be. <laughs> Why would my room? Because it is yours. What? Was it wicked of me? No. What on earth? Something is going on with her. Wow. Um, okay. It is someone casting spells against you. Well then. Oh. Alright. Um. What the heck? Yeah, of course they're gone. Uh-huh. What is that? Oh, I was careless with the kitchen knife. The wound looks angry. I will bind it later with some wild arrowroot flowers. Ay ay ay. What is up with the people in this town? Okay. I'm guessing she controls him and the husband is gonna die. Not her. Killed her! The horseman killed your stepmother! Hmm. Or maybe he... I don't know. Maybe he's lying. Maybe he is. Or maybe he's not lying. I, I have no idea. <laughs> we shall see. This is interesting. What the heck? He cannot enter. Uh-huh. What? That is way around not being able to get in. Mm-hmm. Yep. What were you drawing? What the heck? What? What on earth? Book is not gonna burn easily. It's gonna have to be in there quite a while. There's gotta be some sort of a clue. What the heck? Another one? 
Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, no, it was just, yeah, the wife. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be a clue somehow. Like, what you see and what you don't see. Hmm. Uh-huh. When this cut was made, this woman was already dead. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Without the head, you can't identify the body, like you said in the beginning. Like, it's harder to identify the body. Okay. This is certainly turning into a mystery on another level. Okay. Everyone is a witch in this town. What the heck? One more night of beheading. Yep, it is her. I, I, yep, I guessed it right before. For Katrina. Oh, boy. Because she stands to profit as the married... I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. No one in this God-fearing town would take us in because my mother was suspected of witchcraft. But she schooled her daughters well while we lived as outcasts in the western woods. Uh, his mother? My sister and I remained in our refuge. Is that his aunt? Pretty good aim for a dude who can't see. <laughs> Jump for the sails! Yeah, that looks like it'll hold real well. Okay then. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Jeez Louise. What on earth? Like that's gonna do much to stop him. Maybe slightly slow him down. Ay -ay -ay. So she doesn't have the head at the moment. If he can get the head, he can control him. Yep, there we go. Uh-huh. Well, then. That's kind of a neat effect. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Please, Louise. <laughs> what? Here goes fainting again. Just in time for a new century. <laughs> right. 1800s. The end, I presume? Yep. There's credits. Okay, well... <laughs> let's talk about this thing. <laughs> okay. That was an adventure. That was, uh... That was good. It was well made. It did a good job of setting the tone. Uh, setting the atmosphere, building suspense, uh, they kept it interesting in regard to the mystery behind it, and who exactly was at fault, who is in control, who was pulling the strings, who was the bad guy. Everyone was kind of involved in some way, but, uh, yeah, the way it all played out was really good. They did a good job of foreshadowing, and, yeah, solid movie, solid movie. Helena Bonham Carter wasn't in it, but T was. T was in it, so that was fun. Hmm, what else can I say about this movie? It was acted well. Tim Burton definitely has a style, that's for sure. And he didn't disappoint. <laughs> sure, he some of his projects are like, what was he thinking? But <sighs> I can definitely see why the guy has a career. He is definitely a talented guy and has made a lot of classics throughout the ages, throughout the ages, through his career. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a solid movie. I guess that's all I can really say about it. Would I watch it again? Um, it might be interesting to re-watch it, pick up more of the details knowing the ending. Uh, that could be an interesting second watch through for sure. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Yeah, I'm glad I watched it. What did you think? Was this movie excellent? Was it terrible? Um, <laughs> was it somewhere in between? I'd love to hear what you, uh, what you thought. If for some reason you didn't see your favorite part of the movie in this reaction, you can check out the link to the Patreon in the description, and uh, you can see the full reaction watch along uh, over there. If you want to support the channel, but non-monetarily, you can hit the bell icon, subscribe, leave a comment, uh, interact with the video, share the video, give it a like, 
I post new reactions every Monday and Thursday, and this Thursday, the next video should be probably, uh, I'm thinking The Exorcist. I might change my mind, but uh, The Exorcist might be the next one I watch. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around for more Octoberfest. But yeah, I guess that's all I got. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.